Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Gully here. Welcome back to some more epic Polytopia gameplay. We're gonna be doing another random match, so let's just get right into it here. Normal drylands. I want to make this a little challenging on myself. Imo. <laughs> the best tribe in the game, everyone knows it. Don't at me. That's a lot of mountains. <laughs> I ain't real sure what I expected. We're gonna move towards these animals here, because, you know, hunting? I didn't get to see a starting score, because he was host. But if he's at 650, mm, I don't know. Ooh, there's no village there. Well, that's quite unfortunate. I may have screwed myself by picking Imo. <laughs> okay, there's a village there, and there's a ruin there. Right. No sense researching anything this turn, as we'll just end our turn. Mmm, he has a nice score. On to that village, and on to that ruin, I guess. We have nine stars. I mean, I guess we can research hunting and upgrade our capital. I mean, other than those two animals, we got nothing. I don't think hunting's the play. But the extra two stars per turn is gonna be nice. I'm thinking about taking climbing. Then if I even want to develop my cities, I need mining. I'm gonna take hunting. I'm gonna do it. They called me a madman. Climbing and mining might come down the line. If this rune gives us stars, that's gonna be big. Philosophy. No, 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 no. Why? <laughs> okay, maybe we can swag on one of his giants or something. Who knows? We're just gonna train a warrior and capture this city. That's gonna put up our tech price. I mean, we have philosophy. So at least we get the discount. But, eh, <laughs> mind benders. <laughs> okay, we can construct our altar of peace, which is gonna give us some stars, so that's good. Mm. Of course there's a mountain there. Oh my gosh. Okay, altar of peace going down. Gimme them resources. Climbing this turn isn't gonna do very much. Next turn, maybe. So 10 stars for both climbing and mining. We have 12 right now, we're gonna be at 18. So if I get climbing and mining, and I train a warrior, we can still upgrade a city next turn. As I mean, this one. Assuming there's gold here, which I'm kind of banking on. It's a shame though, I kind of blocked off our forge spot with the Altar of Peace. The other two are covered by forest, so we would need to go free spirit if we wanted to free that up. This guy's just gonna look for ruins down here, that's his job. We're gonna take climbing. We do have some nice metal. Let's get some vision. Okay, he's Yadak. More vision. Wow, that's a lot of metal. Yeah, let's go ahead and take mining. And we'll just level up this city. We don't actually need an explorer here. We can just take a workshop. And we'll end our turn. So he's Yadak. He's gonna expand very fast. Which is kind of scary because, you know, Imo is a little slow. There he is. We get organization from him. We're just gonna keep moving our warriors. Organization will let us upgrade this city. So at least we have that going for us. We can level it up and take resources. I like the sound of riding right now. We can also get a giant for 15 stars in our capital. Riding is 4 stars. So we could get riding this turn and train a rider. Or we save these stars, go into next turn, we level up our capital, get a giant, and a monument. I think that's going to be better, actually. Let's just end our turn. This is quite an interesting game, and we haven't even skirmished yet, you know? Also, can we talk about how far away these villages were from my capital? The closest one is three tiles away. Next closest one is three. Kind of want to see how his villages are laid out on his side. His borders are there. That's not good. All right, he's got that village, which is okay. Yeah, he's expanding really fast. That's what I was afraid of. Because by not taking riding and roads and going mining, we're going to slow down our expansion. Which? Is that optimal on a normal map? Mmm, no. But my caveman brain was like, yes. Okay, we'll scoot onto that village, and we'll scoot onto this one, and we'll keep looking for a ruin down here. Okay, it's not looking good. We'll just capture this city. And we will also level up our capital. I'm just gonna take population growth. I think the early giant is gonna help us out. There's our metropolis monument. We'll just hold on to it for now. We'll probably use it down here to get another giant. Really nice forge spot right here. Smithery is nine stars. We'll probably end up picking that up, just because it's also going to help us in combat with swordsmen. Okay, he has climbing. That's something to keep note of. Man, if we capture these cities, the cost for smithery is going to go up quite a bit. No ruin down there. Why did I put my giant there and not there? Ugh, whatever. This guy reveals... Okay, that's something. Do we want smithery this turn? I think we ought to just grab it this turn, if I'm being honest with you. Because, you know, tier 3 tech, going to be a little costly. Oh, I forgot we had hunting. We can at least level up this city this turn and take Explorer. What you got for me, man? Where's that capital? 
Didn't quite reveal it. I'm guessing it's somewhere around here. He also has riding, which is scary. Gonna put the park of fortune right here and grab resources. And now I think we can afford to level up this city too and take workshop. This guy has a defense bonus, so he would need two riders somewhere out here to kill it along with that warrior. But I think we're okay. The key word is think. He's getting real up close and personal with my warrior. He hit it with his rider. He can't kill it. Oh, he's roading. Oh, oh, oh no, no, stop. Illegal, illegal, go away. That sucks a lot, especially considering you could probably get a giant there. Can I get a giant there? No way you actually have another rider up there. Okay, he doesn't. How much would a giant cost down here? We can't even get one because we don't have a forge spot. He's got that city, which sucks, but that's just the way it is sometimes, you know? We are going to instead level up this city, giant. Next turn, we could even put a mine there and get another one. We don't have a lot of units, though. Now, see, letting him take that city is actually a big brain play because now our tech price goes down. You see how I did that, fellas? That's called a big brain play. That's sarcasm, by the way. He has free spirit. Is he going knights? Holy moly, we might be able to pull a win out of this. I think swordsmen beat knights, right? What an interesting game. Maybe we won't end up going riders. That sounds like blasphemy to say that we won't go riders. If he's gonna spam knights, I think mindbenders are out of the question though. <laughs> he's got about 300 more points than me. That's still pretty close. So if he's going at the free spirit route and the chivalry route, I don't know if he's gonna be pumping out too many giants. So maybe we can just bombard them with so many giants, we just win by sheer force. Let's train a swordsman in this city and slap a mine down. That'll level up again, we'll take another giant. And then we can also level up this city over here and take resources, which will get us a swordsman. Okay, end our turn. Very fast turns, very fast turns. Hello, Ryder, how are you? Hmm, he does have a giant. We have two giants going towards this city. I'm gonna divert this one down to help defend against this guy if he roads it. Actually, tell you what, we'll bring this warrior back and then tap his rider. And then we'll just train swordsman. I think I'm gonna save these seven stars, maybe start working towards roads. Very handy tech, very handy. He's got 500 more points than me now. The score gap has increased. It's really handy that we get a defense bonus from being on mountains because there's just so many of them. Imo is vibing, man. And I'd really like to get a unit on one of these mountains just for some nice vision here. Oh, is he going to giant here? Oh, we got a city wall and defenders. Okay, we got him on the defensive and he got a city up here. There's the first knight that we know of. <laughs> I don't really think they're going to be that big of a problem, though. We'll bring this guy south and kill the rider. And we'll move this guy here, attack the warrior, and kill it with our swordsman. Before we do anything, can we siege this? Seven damage if we hit with that giant. We actually do need roads to get this boy up here. I almost took free spirit. That would have been awfully sad. So I guess we'll hit with the giant first, or do we want to siege with the giant? We'll hit with the giant just to keep him on this metal here. And then we'll siege. Move on to that ruin. And I guess bring these guys north to help back that guy up. If he kills this 5 HP with this guy, we're going to want another swordsman. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is risky. I don't know if he plans on night chaining this guy. We could put a mind bender here. And then if he kills it, we just bop it. If we do that, though, he's definitely just going to kill it. Oh, but it'd be so funny. I got to try. <laughs> I really want him to bring his knight over here and just kill that swordsman and it'd be real funny. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> it would have been so funny though. Oh man, whatever, we can unsiege. We'll just break the siege with the swordsman so he can't one-shot it with his giant. We'll also give his giant a nice old thwumpin'. And let's hit it with this warrior too, just to weaken it even further. This guy can go here, we can train a swordsman. And this ruin gives us resources. Okay, that's cool. What do we got up here? An empty city, okay. Just keep moving our boys forward. What does this reveal? Another city, not his capital though. It must be here then. Okay, we can take this. We have roads, so we can link stuff up now. We can't even get our network monument, though. Yeah, let's hold off on it for now. We're gonna have our giant recover and move our swordsmen forward. And also, let's slap some mines down. We'll take population growth. And we have a nice forge spot right here. Seven starts left. Let's just train a warrior in our capital. 
Actually, we'll get a Rider. We might be able to actually use that next turn. The score gap has closed. He's gonna siege this city with his giant, which we won't be able to break, unfortunately. He has another giant over here. He's trying to do some funny knight stuff, but this guy here, nope, he's freaking dead. Well, I was gonna say he survived, but he just got swagged on, so... What do we do about this giant? I think we're just gonna put pressure on this city, right? I want this swordsman to get vision. Okay. And we can also hit these knights a little bit. I'm gonna bring this giant here just in case he tries to siege this city. Train a swordsman. We're gonna take out that knight, take out this rider, and take out this rider. Oh, we got our killer monument. Hang on. Not all hope is lost. Yes, we can do this. Gate of power, harvest fruit, just take population growth, and forge. Boom shakalaka. We got his giant off. That was a very conveniently timed killer monument. Always check your tasks, guys. Those monuments come in clutch. Alright, let's end our turn. This has been a really intense match, I will say. Just because it's two very different strategies clashing with one another. On the one hand, you got Yadak rapidly expanding, going for the night route. Then you got slow bulky Imo going for the giants. Which one's going to win out in the end? I don't know. Yadak's pulling off a siege right now. We can break it, though. It's going to hurt our star production a little bit, though. We're also at a huge disadvantage on cities. Hopefully, we can start pushing back a little bit. I think we are starting to see some of that pressure mount. I swear, if you get a city wall... Ah, it's so annoying. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just stall him out. Give me some of that vision. Okay, he's got another open city. Well, we'll put a unit next to there just to force him to train something. I'm gonna scooch these giants up. The swordsman's at two out of three kills. Interesting. Put him there. We'll go ahead and hit with the giant. And I think I'm just gonna road this rider and kill that boy. Bring him back. Move this guy here. Kill that boy. Put him there. Swordsman. And I'm gonna road this guy south and kill that one. I'm telling you, knights really aren't that big of a threat if you got swordsman. We'll take out his giant. And get this guy on a mountain for a defense bonus. Okay, he's moving his giant away from my giants. You'd think he'd keep it back there to help defend. I guess he thinks he can just kill him with knights? I mean, you could, but that wouldn't be very good value in my opinion. Hit with you, and kill with you. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Put you onto that mountain. Put you onto that mountain. Everybody's going on their mountains. Take out this funny fellow. And this giant's gonna recover. We're gonna try and get him back up to full. I imagine if I take this city, I can get a giant there. There's a mine, and there's a forge spot, and we can get our network monument if we link it everything up. I'm actually pushing for him to resign. I'm running out of storage space on my phone. This game's taken like 50 minutes. I didn't think I'd just pop into a random multiplayer game and be sitting here for 50 minutes. Ah, oh, it's so much footage to edit through. Oh. I'll hand it to this man. He ain't bad at moving his units. Okay, we did manage to get this city. Yeah, let's work on roading everything, I guess. I mean, we have the stars to do it. There's our network monument. So we'll just mine Grand Bazaar, and we'll grab that population growth, and we'll harvest that fruit. Another giant. Let's double back this swordsman just to hit that knight. Warrior can hit it, and this swordsman can go right here. We'll tap that giant, and I guess end our turn. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm just gonna march these giants straight to this city. And remember, all we need to win is the capital. We don't need any of this. Is he gonna go for the siege again? Yes, he is. We can break it. Okay, let's reveal his capital. There it is. It's empty. That's what I like to see. Rode these giants right next to it. You guys know the drill by now. It's swordsman spam. Let's take out that 15 HP knight and that 7 HP knight. I'm not too concerned about taking this city. If I do, cool. If I don't, it's fine. He's got a giant right next to this city. Let's just hit it. Now as for up here, we can just go ahead and take out that knight, get us a veteran warrior, and just get some units ready to siege this city next turn. End our turn. If he wants to prevent us from sieging this next turn, he has to get a giant. He's got a defender on his capital, but it doesn't matter. Road this boy. We'll siege with the 37 HP. It's not like it really matters. And get that guy there. Can we siege this city? Rather than calculating it to find out, I'm just gonna throw units at it. After some bloodshed, we got it. If he giant pushes, I'm gonna be very salty. Ah! <laughs> Hang on for another one or two turns. Absolutely start shredding this man. We're gonna go ahead and siege with our swordsman, and we can kill that knight. Mindbender for the meme. 
Why did I train a mine? He's gonna he's gonna siege that city. <laughs> Why did I meme? Why did I meme? He's gonna break the siege. He's gonna keep hanging on. Oh my gosh, this guy's annoying. <laughs> but I can't knock him. I can't knock him. He actually didn't siege this city. Siege with the 29 HP. Kill the 9 HP. Move the mind bender. I don't know why he's here. I'm pretty sure he can't break that siege with two knights. Unless he's got a third one sitting back here. I don't think even that would stop it though. He does have a 7 HP back there. Oh my gosh. Is he actually going to break it again? Please. Please. Just please. <laughs> what is he doing? Just stop. 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 No. Can this guy reach? Two, three. No. It's three, four, five, six. No, he can't. Okay, we're fine. We are fine. Whew. Knights can move a maximum of six tiles. He's trying to get it down there. It's not going to work, but valiant effort. Oh my gosh. All capitals were captured. There's the map. It's pretty pog. Oh, we got to wait for the road connection. Oh my gosh. Yay. <laughs> what the heck was that game? Oh, what an interesting game. Like I said, two strategies completely different going against each other. I do think it was a good idea for us to go mining instead of riding in roads because, you know, he would have had knights and he would have slaughtered us if we were spamming riders because I'm not that good at my rider micro yet. But that's okay. We didn't need it. We had swordsmen. His unit placement was pretty, pretty spicy, but the giants were too thick. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to wrap up this episode of Polytopia here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe for more epic Polytopia gameplay, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a spectacular day.